Well, Lauren, a community meeting just started here at Carmel High School. Many people are here to get an update on how the fire fight is going. Like you mentioned, Highway 1 is closed, and this does pose some issues for residents, businesses and travelers in the area, but trust me, you do not want to be in there. The flames are scary close to the road. We were there. Take a look. Well, if it's not meant to be this trip, then we'll come through another time. Carol and her son are taking a trip down the coast, and like many travelers on Sunday, they had to get across Highway 1 near Big Sur before it was closed. This is why the highway is closed. Flames are reaching the foot of the mountain just feet away from the roadway, and that's why firefighters want the road clear while they do their fire operations. As you can see throughout the road, there's rocks falling everywhere, and as the fire burns through, the rocks loosen up in the soil, and then they roll down onto the road, and that would be a huge reason uh, why we would have the road closed. Residents watched as flames burned down the mountain across the street. Some parts are so steep, Firefighters used flare pistols to ignite the fire. Drip torches are used along the road right there, but a lot of times you're going to need to create depth. So those ignition devices allow you to create fire at a far distance without putting any personnel in there. It's a difficult and dangerous task, but with the conditions in their favor, this operation will help push the fire away from homes and businesses. This controlled fire is... Uh you know, an effort to, to secure the area. Uh, once we finish this, uh, we, we'll feel really good about the Big Sur area. And again, these operations depend a lot on the conditions. The highway is expected to be closed anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, but firefighters tell me that things are going well and we could be seeing the highway open up sooner than later. Lauren. Good news. All right. Thanks so much, Bianca.